Holly Haven and Andy Haven. We are here today with your market update for September. And as we qualify every single month, you guys know these are August numbers. Um, and we're seeing some changes for the first time in seven, eight months. Yeah, this is these are changes that y'all are actually going to like this time. This isn't um, changes of prices going up right. and more houses sitting on the market. So this is something that I think everybody's going to be excited to hear about today. Yeah, let's dive in. We'll start with uh, Dallas, Texas. Yeah, so Dallas, Dallas, again, we have to kind of state this. There are a lot of older homes in Dallas. Um, it's not as productive and being at um, new builds as yeah. uh, Prosper and Salina. Yeah. Sorry, I got tricked about yeah, my words Yeah, we have more there, but... renovations, more updates, more upgrades, and a big range of price points in Dallas. Yes, yeah. So something to keep in consideration. So in Dallas, the average list price this month was 643559 That is down about $40,000 from last month. Um, sales price to list price ratio is at 99%, just down 1% from last month. Um, days to sell was the same. We had 29 days on market. Number of new listings is at 1,344 new listings last month in Dallas, which is great, but still not a lot for the entire city of Dallas. Um, expired listings went up. We're at 1,237 expired listings this month, which just means that people aren't really selling the houses in time for their short, shorter time period for right. listings. So yeah, we've mentioned this a couple of times over the last few months, guys. What we're experiencing is we're getting back to what we would call more of like our stable market. So yeah. we still have low inventory. We're seeing the prices come down because we have sellers becoming more motivated, realizing that houses are not selling in three days or even 30 days in a lot of cases. Yeah. Um, and we're seeing some really strange things where you went to make an offer this last week house been on the market 170 days yeah and suddenly it was a multiple offer situation the house had just gone under contract within the last 24 hours so guys we're seeing some strange things in the market that the data is not really showing us until much after the fact and that's why i think we're seeing some of these price decreases we're seeing sellers take some price decreases along the way um to prompt the movement right because we want to sell in 30 days but really we're in a four-ish month market which is feeling pretty consistent across all areas kind of well, give or take yeah in our months of inventory right now across the board pretty much is three months yeah. um a stable market would be six months of inventory so we are still about halfway there still consider um, a seller's market yeah so with that being said if you're yeah. looking to sell your house we do need more inventory. So. We do. Okay, let's dive into Frisco is next. How are we looking for Frisco, Texas? Guys, we are down about $60,000 on um, that list price average. So we're at about eight eight hundred twenty thousand dollars eight twenty one dollars in Frisco. We have a 99.2% list to sell price, right? So we're not getting low ball offers. We're not taking big reductions. What we are seeing is price reductions that the seller or the listing agent are taking throughout the listing process. Then we're getting close to that full price offer. So that's why we're experiencing these numbers. Um, our price is going down, but we're seeing that sell to list price stay consistent. Um, days to sell, 28 days on average in Frisco. Guys, that's a, that's a really, really strong seller's market. 299 um, new listings, which was down from the month prior. And expired listings, 272, which is up a little bit from the previous month. Um, and then we have about three months of inventory, same as Dallas. So we're still calling this a really strong seller's market. Seeing these prices go down, guys, remember, we're gonna, consider, we're gonna continue to kind of settle, settle, settle as these interest rates are unpredictable. I'm gonna throw in our little teaching moment. If you are a buyer and you are watching this and you're like, absolutely, interest rates are too high, I'm not interested until they drop, guys, reach out to us. There's a lot of education and a lot of opportunity around a um, rate buy down. So we get to buy down that interest rate. It's very inexpensive. It's actually free to the buyer. Sellers are loving it because they're getting their properties under contract and everybody's getting to move on, but um, we're seeing a lot of opportunity there. Well, and something else to consider about that rate buy down, that's actually called a seller concession. A seller concession can be used to either buy down your rate or towards closing costs, not towards down payment, but closing costs. And a lot of times whenever you get a seller concession, it may not be, it may be more than what your buy down would cost. So you can use that money towards your closing costs. Absolutely. It is really a win-win. Um, when I'm talking to my sellers, right, we're talking about a listing. If we want to drop the price by $10,000, it's just as easy for us to give that $10,000 back to the buyer at closing. It's the same net for my seller and the buyer actually is getting a bigger benefit out of it because throwing that maybe $10,000 in your loan, but you're really getting it back to buy down your rate, it has a significant impact on that monthly payment. Um, we're seeing it as high as four to $700 a month decrease for the buyer just by doing that rate buy down. Yeah, yeah, and the rate buy down, it obviously differs between lenders, but it's between five and $10,000 for yeah. two points off of your mortgage, which 
if they're giving you that money, why are you not taking it? Yes. Put yourself in a better position. Set that extra cash aside. Refi when the rates do actually drop, which we're expecting Q1 of 2024. Yeah. Put yourself in the position of buying the house now without a lot of competition. Turn around and refi as soon as those rates drop. So let's get off of our um, teaching <laughs> moment and let's jump into Prosper, Texas, what our numbers are for Prosper. Did we finish our um, numbers for Frisco? We did. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Moving on to Prosper. Our average list price did drop about $40,000. That seems to be pretty consistent across the board. $947,000 last month for average list price. Uh, sales price to list price ratio was right at 98.10. So this is dropping a little bit, but I do think it's because we have a lot of new construction and we were priced a little bit higher at those times. And we are seeing builder incentives again. So yeah. we're seeing builders drop the price to get more buyers in the door to combat the interest rates. And yeah. we're seeing some of those um, builder lender opportunities with some rate buy down options as well. So guys, there's a lot of opportunity out there with builders right now that we haven't seen in the last few years. So yeah, that's for part sure. of what we're looking at in Prosper. Our days to sell in Prosper are just up one more day. We're at 50 <laughs> days this month, um, not too bad. Our number of new listings are at 132. That's actually great. Um, we, we want it to continue to grow because yeah. we obviously want our buyers to have more opportunity out in Prosper. Absolutely. Our expired listings are at 117. Um, I mean, that's pretty typical. From the last few months, it has started to rise, but we're also going into the winter months when it's a little bit slower of a market. Yeah, and speaking on that, traditionally, guys, from, from right now, post Labor Day all the way to Thanksgiving is a pretty decently busy time for real estate. Um, but we do have sellers start to go, oh, I'm just going to wait till Christmas. I'm going to wait till school starts again. I'll wait till next year. So just know that we always have lower inventory in the fall months, but we have buyers that are motivated in the fall months because we yeah. have people who want to move before the holidays, people that need to move before that school break is over and school starts again in January. So just keep in mind, this is actually a really good time to list your house um, in North Texas traditionally. Additionally, as our fall months, they're good months. Yeah, for sure. And then our months of inventory, again, we are at three months of inventory. Pretty consistent across all the metroplex. Absolutely. And we say this every time, Prosper and Salina has all the new construction. So these are where our numbers get a little bit skewed. We are down a little bit. Guys, we're down from 728000 average uh, list price in Salina to 688000 That's one of the biggest drops we've seen. Um, we are also seeing a sale to list price of 99.8%. That actually went up. So again, we're seeing sellers take these price reductions to get a little more traction on the property. We're realizing we're having to kind of play the game with the interest rate. Um, and then days to sell, 34. Guys, that is a really low. It's actually the lowest it's been in the last months. seven months. Yeah. Um, 34 days on the market in Salina and 157 new listings and 120 expired listings. So this trend continues, right? We're seeing all of North Texas is about the same, even though we have different maybe sell price numbers or different averages. We're really across the board. And then months of inventory, we have two months of inventory in Salina, which means again, we have the lowest inventory of all the markets that we talk about every month. Yeah. Um, in Salina, we do have a lot of new construction. We have new neighborhoods opening up. We have some new Prosper ISD and Salina ISD. Like we have a neighborhood that's split almost down the middle. That's gonna be a really cool option for people to get into um, kind of a massive, full amenity neighborhood. So if you're yeah. interested in that, you're like, hey, I want to live in that neighborhood, but I need Prosper ISD and or Salina ISD. We can chat about that because we know there's going to be some future opportunities there for both school districts. Yeah, that one's going to be really cool. It's kind of like, think of Light Farms and Winsong kind of meshed together, but then you have the opportunity of two separate school districts. So that's yeah. going to be really cool to yeah. see. And some great builders in there. So guys, we have a lot of information on new construction, pre-existing homes, lots of education to provide. If you're one of those buyers sitting out there and you're like, man, I really want to buy. We need to make this move, but the interest rates are scaring me. They don't have to be scary. Let us educate you. Let us help you. We can connect you with some lenders with some really great options. And um, yeah, if you're a seller and you're scared, guys, we have some great ways to combat this by yeah. offering those seller concessions, allowing that buyer to get in there with a lower rate. And that makes you the more competitive listing on the market. Yeah, for sure. So if you're wanting to buy, sell, or lease, go ahead and say, leave us a comment down below or our com contact information yeah. is down below as well. And we will see you guys in the next video. Yep. Like, subscribe, and uh, leave us comments. And let's chat soon. Bye, guys.